In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Yellowfin's broadcast features. One common need is sending reports out to your users, and that might happen on a regular schedule, a weekly report for example, or it might be because your data has crossed a boundary or exceeded some threshold and people need to know about that change, ideally with additional context and insight. So in order to do that in Yellowfin, you start out with this sideways Wi-Fi signal. That's the broadcast icon. And here, I've just developed a very simple sample report with a bunch of sales data from a demonstration data set along with an accumulation of the total sales over time. I'm going to create a new broadcast and I get options for something for myself, an FTP send, a smart task, or a traditional broadcast where you're emailing out the report. The big difference for smart tasks is that it will not be sent over email, but it will show up in Yellowfin over here on the left under My Tasks. But for here, we're focusing on broadcasting in the more traditional sense and the way most people expect. We have recipients. We have a subject line. And we have a body with our message and description for what we're sending. We'll come back to the way we attach the data in a moment, but right now we have set a continuous schedule, meaning whatever we set down here is going to be the schedule it is sent on. So we can set any cadence we might need the updated information on, such as weekly, daily, or even say hourly. The problem with sending out hourly is, of course, even though we might want to be updated of a change within an hour, we often don't need to be updated when the information doesn't change. So we can constrain the report using the alert delivery rules here so that when the report is about to be sent, we can apply rules that determine whether or not it's actually sent. This is where we create rules and thresholds that govern whether or not the report has violated a guardrail and will be sent. And so we can determine whether or not one of the rows matches that constraint or whether or not the entire aggregate of a column in the data set, and if the aggregate matches, it will be sent. So I'm going to choose total sales for each row, and I'm going to say if a single record exceeds, say, $60 million, then send the report. If I did that as an aggregate, however, it would check on whether or not the sum of that entire column exceeded $60 million, and then would send the report out accordingly. Now going back to the attachments, if we wound up sending it as HTML, data file, CSV, PDF export, then any one of those is going to be sent as static content that is exported and attached to the email. If we send it out as a link, then it will prompt people to come back to Yellowfin, authenticate, and then view the content as a live interactive report, and that can have real advantages because you can view real-time interactive filtering and drill. Also, they will be looking at live data as opposed to aging information that once they see in their inbox may be stale. Once we save, the broadcast is set up and we're done. 